The Bible teaches that we are all sinners worthy of death. Fortunately, God has come up with a plan to save us. In this video, I'm going to be talking about God's plan of salvation as I share a clip with you from a previous video of mine entitled, Seven Reasons to Read the Bible. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell if you're new so you get notified about my future uploads. Now for the clip. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 tells us, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. All of us have sinned. We have broken God's law of Ten Commandments. And Romans chapter 6 verse 23 tells us, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Breaking God's law is a serious offense in the eyes of God. And the punishment for breaking God's law is death. This is not the common death that we all have to face when our life expires. This is referring to what the Bible calls the second death. Speaking about the second death, Revelation chapter 2 verse 11 says, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. The second death is destruction in the lake of fire. But God doesn't want us to experience the second death because then we would miss out on heaven. So out of his love for us, he sent Jesus, his son, to die on the cross for our sins. John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Salvation is a free gift from God, provided by His grace. There is nothing you can do to earn it. No amount of donations to your church, sacraments, or good deeds will help you earn your way into heaven. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 9 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works lest anyone should boast. Not only that, God raised Jesus up from the grave three days later to demonstrate his ability to resurrect us and take us to heaven when Jesus returns. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 14 puts it this way, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. Believe in Jesus and be saved is the message of the gospel. What exactly are you required to believe about Jesus, aside from He died on the cross for your sins? Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. We are not only called to believe in His death, burial, and resurrection, we also need to confess that Jesus is Lord. Believing Jesus is Lord means believing He is divine and accepting His authority over your life. Jesus is God who became a man to die for our sins so that we can be reconciled to God. Now in case you're thinking, how can Jesus be God when the Bible says that Jesus is God's Son? God is a trinity, which means that there is one God who exists in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Bible also calls us to repent from our sins and confess them to God to receive forgiveness. Acts chapter 3 verse 19 says, Repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. And 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Do you feel guilty for your sins and do you want relief? You can have that today. Whatever sins you have committed, they're not too great for God to forgive. Jesus is a bigger Savior than you are a sinner. I invite you to join me as I pray to invite Jesus into your life. Just repeat after me. Father, forgive me. Please accept my confession that I'm a sinner worthy of death. I give my life to you. Thank you for Jesus' life and death to save me. Help me to do your will. Amen. If you just prayed that prayer, congratulations! Your sins have been forgiven and you have been restored in a relationship with God. I would like to help you in your Christian walk by providing you with some good Bible study material and helping you find a good Christian church near you. Please email me at questions at bibleflockbox.org if you're interested. 
We are all sinners worthy of death, but God loves us, so he sent Jesus, his son, to die on the cross for our sins to save us. If you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, your sins will be forgiven and you will be granted eternal life. God's plan of salvation is revealed in his word, the Bible. This is one of the reasons it's important to read the Bible. However, it's not the only good reason to read the Bible. There are many more. Learn what they are by clicking on the screen to watch my video entitled, Seven Reasons to Read the Bible. Also, please like and share this video to help spread God's word. Thank you for watching and God bless you.